Welcome to hike number seven, AKA the one with all the wind. So this is happens to only be the second hike I've undertaken in August, mainly, uh, I don't know, I'm kinda, you know, you don't understand the August greens, like June, July, everything is just green. It's kind of boring and then fall comes and everyone just freaking just goes insane for photos. A lot of the green and a lot of the heat of August has kind of made it not as fun to be out here, but we'll do it. I'm kind of thinking about the August greens and I don't know, in a way, it's kind of like boring light. You know what I mean? Like, no one shoots at high noon, so it's just like flat sunlight and it's like, ugh. People just gotta, gotta get up early and get out there at sunset and sunrise to get those magic purple colors and all that shit. I think like the greens are kind of like that where we just see it so much it becomes normalized and it's not that interesting. So I wonder if like, what if our, what if our seasons are all flipped around and it was fall colors like half of the year and then like for one week everything turns green. Would there be like, the news would be like, oh, the, the, the green report, we can go see green leaves this time of year and then people just be photographing that and that would be the new norm. Kind of like if it was forever sunset and then for 20 minutes a day we had a full bright sunny light. People would be out there trying to get that magic bright lit hour and share those pictures. I don't know. That's kind of what I think about all the August green here, but I'm gonna keep working with it because it's gonna be gone soon. We're at the end of August and already a bunch of little trees are starting to turn orange and pretend it's fall. So here's our first color pop of the season. It's nice, looks like a fairly freshly rotted torn down tree, all orange and brownish with a little painted rock stuck in it against a sea of green. We're gonna, yeah. This is the first photo of the outing. Contain yourself. Look how cute this is with the tripod all little. Oh, I'm gonna look in through the top. 160 F56, that sounds good. Get a good crispy focus. I think we're ready to shoot. Ugh. Except I left my cable release in my backpack. Is this gonna be so windy that even at 160th we're gonna see blur in the foliage? That'd be kind of cool. So I guess a positive aspect of this wind is that little pesky mosquitoes can't really fly in there. If they do, they go zipping right by. Haven't had one touch me yet. Let's see if we can go the whole hike without having a phantom slap a single mosquito. Hmm? What do we have here? Some more color pop. Look at this. Someone's happy birthday balloon. All alone by itself. So we got some real hard wind here. See the trees are just bouncing. I think what I'm gonna do is set the tripod good and low here and do a uh, long as exposure as I can just to kind of make everything else a little blurry around the poor little mylar balloon. Let's see what I need to do for long exposure here. First, I turn the camera on. Let's see, one second. What is one second? F11. We'll do two seconds here. Gotta wait for the branches to really start jiggling. Jiggle trees, come on. So it seems we have a church over here. Somewhere in the horizon, I can't see where I'm aiming. Scoping out this shot with my little viewfinder doodad. I think with my 150 millimeter lens, I can do a nice little photo of this tree and that church together, and it'll be epic. P.S. There's a feather stuck in a log. So I keep hearing explosions off in the distance. 
Did we like go to war with Wisconsin? Cause that wouldn't be fun. There we go. Let's see what we can do for exposure time here. 1.30th at almost F8. We wanna, we have a tripod. We can go real slow. 16, four quarter a second F16. Let's go 1.8 at F11. And guess what? You're not in my scene, Mr. GoPro. So you could be right here for the action. <clears throat> Feels good, man. Update, I got too much out of the wind. Mosquito got me. So here we have a nice little bolt of sunshine. If I work fast, I can hit this before it goes away. Wait, it's going away. Well, never mind then. You wanna know what is stupid? Sand, kind of the worst thing in the world. You want to know what's not stupid? This sweet piece of driftwood with an iron spike in it that's been kind of burnt up. I think I can do something with it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll think for a bit, but I'm pretty sure I can. Damn sand is the last place I want to put my stuff down. Get sand inside my gears and it'll scream like a unlubricated painful robot. Here we go. I used my peep thing here to figure out that the 120 millimeter lens is probably the one for this scene. Let's play a game. Mountain Dew or piss? Let's cast your votes now, and when I get back to this jump cut, I'm gonna take a sip. I am. Drink some mystery fluid off the side of the beach. Who wants a new virus that we've never seen before? This guy. So there's some real nice light creeping out on these ore docks way down there. I'm gonna quickly put my 150 on and shoot this. And what the hell? How about another shout out to Endurax for providing me this awesome backpack? Look up there, there'll be a link to the review I did of it. Yo dog, I heard you like graffiti. So I think I'm gonna do a little study of this corner of the graffiti up here, which says, Jesus something Timmy Jacks Off. Timmy Jacks Off being a local band that I'm aware of. Not actually a guy, Timmy, in this shed beating it. That would be gross. But I think I can do a little neat thing with this, just isolating this area right here. Yeah, let's go. There we go, that's, that's pretty nice. I like this F-16. We want, you know, since it's windy, we wanna Use that to our advantage once the tree starts blowing, make it kind of soft and here comes a breeze. I feel it, I feel it. Come on, blow, 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 blow. Oh my God, can you blow wind? This guy doesn't know how to blow. Come on, baby girl. Show me what you got. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Big breeze, big breeze. Come on. Oh. And there we go. I shall reload it and we shall continue. And in a surprise turn of events, I'm going back to Porsche 400. It's getting a little darker out now. We're gonna need that extra speed bump, right? At the cost of what grain though? What grain?
well, end of line, I guess. No more going, oh my god. <laughs> no more going this way. So I guess now I get to head my ass back. It's about 20 minutes until technical sundown. I'm about two miles out, so it might get dark down again. But one thing I learned since the last time that happened is to get yourself a bright ass flashlight. Then maybe it won't be such a bad thing if I get stuck in dark woods. What do you all think about this? Got a dreamy piece of driftwood sitting here amongst all this grass just fluttering. I think I could find a good angle on it and like kind of long exposure a bit so all the grass is wavy and just puts textures in front of the wood. Yeah, let's try that. All right, here we go. One second exposure. Oh yeah, and play the focus a little bit, just, just, just in case. Just in case I was off. I need one more second. Look at it, look at it whip. There we go. That should be a good photo if things work correctly. So with that, I put the camera away. I think I'm gonna call this one done, unless something super amazing pops up, but I doubt it. The sky is not looking like it's gonna deliver an amazing sunset. So, till next time, I guess.